guys, as I said, we are going to be testing out the watermelon palette by Revolution. Uh, I did create a look with this yesterday, but I was going food shopping with my boyfriend, so I thought, oh, like, maybe I've kind of held back on seeing the true potential of the full palette, so I really wanted to create, like, a colourful look. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. Obviously, like I've said, I did do a um, a look with it yesterday so uh, it's been swatched and used but I was thinking we could go in with something a bit different today I'm going to go in with the Too Faced, Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm just going to pop this all over my eye also mind my breakout guys I've been starting with some new products and I think I'm having like a bit of a reaction to it like so I am actually really enjoying this, it's just such an easy um, primer and it does cancel out all the veins and stuff, sorry I'm playing my hair, I've just got out of the bath and I've had to like blow dry and straighten my hair, so that's why I'm playing with it so much. Sorry if it's annoying you guys. So I am going to try and create quite a fun colourful look with this, I can't promise poolside which is like a warm orangey colour and I'm just going to place this oh, all um, very lightly all on just above the crease and I'm going to place this just through the crease I am just playing with this, I have no idea what look I am creating But I think I'm going to do a winged out look for this. So the two completely different eyes, yeah. So I'm going to need to blend this one out a tiny bit. So yeah, so this is what I've done so far and I think I'm going to cut the crease um, but first I want to blend it out actually yes I did use the shade cube right which is like this bottom colour here and I did really like it for blending out when I did it the first time so I'm just gonna gonna go back in and hopefully it does the same yeah see it's blending out so nice I'm gonna cut the crease and I'm gonna do this with the heartbreakers concealer but and I'm just cutting out the shape that I want like literally in the bit where your crease is that's all I'm doing and I'm just trying to get it to like the bit where I'm happy so that's kind of how I've done it so far now I'm going to go and do the other side and then come back. I think it's pretty good for my first time ever doing something like this. I've got this. This is, I don't know how long ago I got this. I don't think it was that long ago. And it is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Peach Matte Fine Primer Spray. haven't used it. I think I've literally just smelled it. Um, but we are going to go into a few colours uh, and I'll let you know which ones. I think I'm going to do Melon, Hydrate and Freeze. So I'll probably do um, so I'm just placing um, Freeze on the inner part of my eye. I 
I'm just going back in with the freeze again and then I'm going to go it so that's how it looks I'm going to go in with hydrate and um, which is like the deeper blue which is just there and I'm just going to tap that into the middle part of my eye So that's it so far. I am actually really, really impressed with like the colour shimmers just because I wasn't a fan of the cocktail or fresh in the palette. So lastly, and I, I do think the um, primer sp spray is helping out a lot. So I'm going to go in with the shade Melon, which is like this um, like greeny colour. Um, and again, spraying it with some of the I Heart Revolution revolution peach spray and i'm going to drag this out i think it's definitely better like patting the shimmer rather than dragging and like working the color up as you can see it looks like this so far it's crazy eh? I just wanted to really test out like the shimmer colours. Right, so I'm going to go in and do the other eye off camera and then I'll come back and tell you guys my final thoughts and we'll do my full face. Hello, so I'm back from doing the other eye and I just don't feel like it's complete. So I'm going in with the Beauty Bla Be Beauty Bay um, Living My Best Light in the shade Sensor. It looks like this. It's a silver glitter, basically. Um, I'll have it linked in the description bar. I'm just going to take a Morphe 217 and just go over the top to kind of intensify the colour. I don't know if this is going to work. This is my first time ever using these. So it might not give me the effect. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, it's giving me the effect that I want. I don't know if you guys can see that yet. I need to get a bit closer to... I am literally just drawing on the top of, like, the colour, um, where the red meets the colour. So I'm just literally using this brush to draw on the top of that and go on. Yeah, I am. Can you kind of see? I'm really digging this. I just need to get a more precise line. So that's how it's looking so far. You know, in the camera, I actually really love it. I don't know why. It's just something about it. I've never really done this look before. And I'm really, really impressed with how it's came out. Just the Coconut Dream Hydrating Primer. This is by I Heart Revolution. And I'm just going to like put the tiniest amount onto my hand and rub this all in. So I'm going to go in with something I've never actually used, but I've heard, um, maybe is it soft as nails? She used this. Uh, it's the Dream Urban Cover, full coverage, lightweight, protective makeup um, in, by Maybelline. It is in warm ivory, so I don't know if this is going to suit my skin tone, uh, but we'll try. Do you know what? I'm just going to have to bring this here because I'm not looking straight at you all. This is so much better because it's brighter, right? So it ended up covering quite a lot, but I feel like I'm gonna have to go in with quite a bit of concealer, um, just to maybe like bring it in a bit more. Yeah, guys, it's done something really weird on my skin. like crumbling off because of the primer that's weird maybe it was me just not rubbing it in enough um 
but that's kind of crumbled off on the side of my face with my skin colour, with the tone of my skin, with the tone of my skin. It's really not done well for my skin preference, it's just clung so much. So I probably, I'm happy I'm not going anywhere after I've filmed this, otherwise I would not be too happy on camera, but it's just clung to every single dry patch again. I love I don't know why I'm like really buzzing with myself. But guys, let me know what you'd want to see next. My bronzer. I don't know why, like I've just pulled out a lot of um, I Heart Revolution. I thought I'd stick to like the theme. Um, and this is in the, co this is the coffee bronzer in Latte. I'm just going to warm my face up. So now I'm going to go in with a blusher. The blush palette that I'm going to go in with is the Morphe 8C blush palette. Um, it's the Cool Pro, it says. It looks like so. And I'm going to use the shade Free and Hot. Remember. For highlight, I am... Um, uh, I have Makeup Obsession, two Makeup Obsessions um, in Feels 24K, Feels 24K and Feels Ice. I feel like because I've got a silver glitter on my eye, I'm going to have to go in with the Feels Iced. I've never used this before, I've only swatched it. So we'll see how it applies. It looks really nice, but I feel like because of my foundation, it's like really clung to like my dry patches, but I do really like the colour and I feel like if I use a different foundation, then I would like, like the highlighter a bit more, but I do really like it with the look. Um, so maybe I'll try that again at some point, um, but using a different foundation and I think I'll come with my skincare done because that seems to really have a difference with the foundation things that I'm using. Um, I'm going to spray my face with the Tasty Peach Matte Fine Spray and just wait for that to settle in. I'm going to go and apply my lashes and then I'll be back to do my under eye and a lip with you guys. Hello, so I'm back and I have my lashes on. Um, I've worn these about 10 times now. They really need to go in the bin, but they're perfect for videos because I'm just going to take it off in a minute. Uh, so I'm going to go in for my under, under my lash line. I have these new, semi-new, new makeup obsession, um, like pencils yeah pencil color eyeliners from the uh, collaboration with tiffany yeah so i think just for a really cool pop of color and it'll also kind of go in with still this um palette i'm going to go in with sunshine under my lash line and i'm going to go in with the Oh, I don't want to use that one. With the Disney Princess Times the Essence one in the, it's a smudging brush and it's Aurora's. And I'm just going to take Sunshine, which is the bright yellow under my lash line, just like bring it across for now. And 
and I'm just going to build it up because it's coming off like quite light at the minute. And then I'm going to go in with actually the orange in Sunset and I'm going to take my blending brush and just like go underneath. to go in with um, a clean blending blending brush which is a Chloe Morton MUA and I'm just going to drag this so it kind of blends it out a bit more and I'm just going to bring this up into the like into this bit of my eye so I'm going to go off camera again I'm going to do my other under eye I'm back and I completely forgot that I needed to powder so I'm going in with the revolution um baking powder in the shade lace um, let's see if I can kind of bring it up to you and you guys can see there in lace um real technique contour brush and I'm just going to dab this underneath my eye and just where I'd get oily I haven't used this powder in so long so I really don't know um, how it's going to perform. So as you can see I've done my brows. We are going to go in with the last bit and that is um, my lips. I'm going to go in with the NYX lip liner in Nude Beige. And then this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Maybelline Colour Sensational in Velvet Beige, 630. So guys, this is the finished look. As I say, I'm not digging um, this foundation. Again, it's clung to my dry patches, so I want to test it out again, and I really want to um, see whether it's a primer that's created that or whether it was just that I hadn't highly moisturised beforehand. So I will test this out again, but at the minute, I'm not loving it. Um, I really want to test out the rest of these two um, and see their true potential, but I... I I, I I absolutely love um this watermelon um palette. I think it's got some really good colours. I think if you were going away maybe and you wanted a mixture of fun and some also everyday, I really highly recommend this. And it's came off so pigmented, they were so easy to blend. Um and it's a good starter palette to get in. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. But why don't you hit that subscribe button down below to make sure you are notified every time that I upload. And it would be brilliant if you guys could like and comment and let me know what you guys would like to see next. But if you want to keep on...